Previously on Solar Balls. The entire solar system is missing, with only Venus and Mercury left in their orbits. Meanwhile, the Earth loses consciousness as it drifts into the Kuiper Belt. How is this possible? Have I left the solar system? Thankfully not, dear child. Ah! W what in the... You're... Not a planet. That I am not. I am the weak nuclear force. One of the four fundamental forces in this universe. Wait, what? How am I even talking to you? That is a mystery I don't have the answer to. Perhaps there are yet more secrets to uncover in this universe of energy and matter. But never mind that. You can't be here, Earth. What? Why not? Because you've left your orbit, bro. Let me guess. You're the strong nuclear force? Yup. Am I that obvious? Yup. And I'm electromagnetism. And I'm gravity. Okay, again, why am I seeing all four of you? Well, what are you looking for? Thea. I... I'm not sure who she is, but she must be connected to why I've always wanted life. Ever since I heard her name, I can't stop thinking about her. Sounds to me that you're looking for the origins of life. Ah, the good old question. I mean, yeah, also that. I know she has the answers. Well, your search is over, my dear friend. W why is that? Because we have the answers you're looking for. Wait, what? Guys, I'm so worried about the Earth. How could he do this? I thought, you know, after everything that happened... Yeah. Oh, I wish we would have noticed. I was just worried about playing cards with you all. And I was so focused on how I felt about Jupiter that I also didn't notice he wasn't well. Guys, I'm happy you're taking accountability, but don't blame yourselves. We can't always be at our best, even if we try. Yeah, Luna. You're always so supportive of the Earth. And I can see how playing with the planets meant a great deal to you. Thank you, Mars. Same goes for you. The Earth is so lucky to have you as his best friend. Ah, oh, so good to see everyone getting along. Yeah, who are they again? W what? Those voices through the phone? Are they other astronauts? Mm, not exactly. Oh, <sighs> listen, this may sound crazy, but there's something I haven't told you about the planets of our solar system. No matter how crazy it is, I'll believe you, okay? Okay, so all the stars, planets, moons, and dwarf planets of our solar system? Astro Dude! Where in the living heck have you been? Boss? T sir now's not a good time. Not a good time? After who knows how many months you think you can pick the time I give you a call? Sir. We spoil you too much, Astro Dude. I don't know why Mr. Rotar still wants you around. Anyways, we're currently working on a dr- Listen, now's not a good time. I'll, I'll call you later with a report on everything that has happened, but I have to go. Sorry. Wait, don't you di- He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Yep. Ma'am, I don't think it's responsible to text and drive. I'm not texting, I'm trying to call my husband so we can avoid the end of all life on Earth. Don't be so dramatic. This isn't as bad as the time the Earth was heading to the sun. Heat, cold, pick your poison, kid. Really? Sorry, I'm a bit stressed. I mean, you really think they're the same? Heading to the sun means losing the atmosphere. The ocean's evaporating and eventually all of us boiling alive. And this scenario involves everyone freezing, kid. But not as fast. The cooling process is more gradual, giving us time to react and find alternatives. Like what? A giant drill! Thanks to Ratsar's technology, we will be able to harness the Earth's natural geothermal resources right in its core. This planet's a hard nut to crack, with over 3,000 kilometers from here to the center, but Mr. Rotsar said this is our most important project to date, so... What the heck? Behold! It works! It works! I 
feel funny. I think my Earthlings are doing something weird. Ha! Isn't that life in a nutshell? Yeah, and you all said you had the answers to it. I don't know. Do you think you are ready for the truth, Earth? I'm ready. Tell me, please. Well, you see, life comes from us. What? There's no life without the four forces of the universe, bruh. Gravity provides the structures where life can develop. Like you, planet Earth. Electromagnetism gives structure to atoms. Electromagnetic radiation, or light, is essential for life. Without the strong nuclear force, the nuclei of the atom wouldn't stay together, so no matter, thus, no life. And last but not least, without the weak nuclear force, there's no nuclear reaction in stars. She is very much needed for a universe that can sustain life. Guys, after everything you've said, I have to say... Yes? That this doesn't help. At all. What? I don't need all these facts and data. Something else compelled me to want to create life. I mean, why me? Something so small and fragile and wonderful and dangerous as life. There must be an answer. I have to keep searching. I don't know, bruh. You keep going deeper, you might lose everything you're fighting for. What do you mean? I'll get my answers and I'll just wake up from whatever this is. Oh, uh, you don't know where you are, do you? What? Why? Hey, where am I? Am I not in my orbit? Guys! Guys! I think that's why. We interrupt this episode for an important announcement. Venus, join Patreon, or I'll be mad. What? Venus? Uh, okay, I'll take over. Ahem. <clears throat> the Solar Balls team is made up of dozens of people, from directors, animators, voice actors, and more who come from all over the world. And believe it or not, doing this is our job. How cool, right? The thing is, to make more videos which involve more and more new characters, we need to hire more people. And we can't do that without your support. So support! If you can! <laughs> but yeah, ever since we released our Patreon, we went from short videos to long epics like the Moon Revolution. And oh boy, with your help, you have no idea how many of our galactic ideas we'll be able to realize. So if you want videos one week early to be part of giveaways, or to join an exclusive Patreon community on Discord with our director, then... Ugh. Consider supporting the Patreon. You're too nice, you know that? Yep, I do. Now back to the video. You're stopping? Why are you stopping, Astro Dude? This... This is the last location my ship got. Call your wife again, Astro Dude! She's not picking up anymore. Something's happening. Oh, no. With all these asteroids, you don't think- Okay, let's not lose our space marbles just yet, Luna. We have no choice but to split up and look for the Earth. Yeah! <laughs> How hard can it be? 